we're in the end game, guys. Greetings, everyone. It is me, Gigalem, and welcome back to Lemmings. Yeah, we're on the finale. We are only a few levels away, and there are even levels we can, uh, we can skip because I've already done them, and I'm not wanting to do them again. So, yeah. Watch out. It's a stray sheep. We're given 20 of everything, which means we're prob this level's going to be a pretty easy one. I'm just wondering why the heck is it taking me several attempts? This is another, this is Lost Something Part 2, and I'm not sure if there's an exit in here or in there or something like that. I know for sure that when I played this, there's an exit up here, and we're going to go for that particular exit for, uh, for a good reason. By the way, there's a boulder trap right there, and uh, you can just barely see a pixel of it, uh, uh, of the button. We're going to immediately, uh, we're going to need to dig low enough so that way, uh, so that way, uh, we can, we can block the lemmings from going off to the side, but then again, I could probably use a builder to get them off to the side or something like that. But... I definitely know that there's an exit right here, and we're going to go for that particular exit. And, uh, yeah. I remember solving this level in a minute, actually. So, yeah. Head, okay, good. The head check, uh, the head check, uh, did not take place until after the last, uh, after the last, uh, thing there. So, yeah. I wanted to free the crowd so that way the crowd doesn't uh, doesn't go off into oblivion and just uh, and you know so we're gonna need to build up here. Fortunately, this thing is looming over it, so we don't have to worry about splat height. I'm not sure if they'll walk through this. If they turn around, well, uh, uh, well, good news for us. We have a lot more uh, a lot more ways we can manage this uh, puzzle. Unfortunately, head check. Eh, unfortunately, head check. Foot check got before head check. Okay, we can turn around, which means uh, we can just have this guy build, and we need to get past a few head checks to be able to start bashing into this part of the train. Okay, woo, nice. There we go. Didn't want to work exactly, but you can see an exit right there. Or, pff, okay, I saw the exit, I thought the exit was much earlier, but... There we go. That's level solved, because of how much, uh, how, how many tools we had. I don't know why it took me a good bit. The, I know why the first one, but I just kept making these stupid mistakes that, uh, resulted in me taking a few more tries on this level. This is definitely an interesting looking level, but I'm not sure if this part or this part has any exits in it. <clears throat> so yeah. I think it's more of just, more or less just a filler level at this point. The level is slowing down because we have too many lemmings and we don't know why we put 100 lemmings in this level. Excuse me. Come on, get on to the exit. Now we on Just a Minute Part 3. Yes! We have a third Just a Minute in this game. Just a Minute Part 3. Yeah. This one's definitely much harder than the others. So yeah, we're gonna need to dig early on so that the lemmings that turn around just end up in the digger pit rather than just, uh, Ringing into their death. So, I think that should be low enough to uh, dig through the uh, through the uh, terrain and such, or the steel. Okay. Want to make sure I can see if I can dig low enough so that way the steel lets him turn around. And these guys. Uh, can make it to the exit. There's 100 lemmings in this level, and I don't know why. Is everyone going to make the uh, the 13-second uh, trip? Be 
because we need to get everyone into the exit. This one's gonna be a close race, but I don't think we're gonna make it. Uh, nope, actually we do make it. That's... Ooh. Now that's how you do a one minute puzzle. That one's definitely difficult. Two heads are better. Fortunately for us, we can just skip this one. We've already done this one, so I'm not going to do it again, and we're definitely going to skip uh, level 29 because I don't want to do IMAT twice. No thank you. So, back in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see the, this screen the last two times. For level 28, you need to put in M, J, M, P, Q. And we get the Gate Trap Lemmings, which is another popular one. So yeah, this level. <laughs> this one, this one can be a tricky one to start off with, and on top of that, Lemmings don't eat, the, the, there's not even like a... The, I'm not sure if you can build all the way up here and just get to there, but yeah. Like, the one thing we're going to need to do is immediately, uh... We're going to need to immediately, like, block. Because we need to make sure that we have some ground for lemmings to block on. And then we need to raise that release rate straight to 99. Because we're going to need our very last lemming here. The last lemming we see exit this hatch. He's going to need to bash down to get his comrades out of, uh, danger. So, yeah. Is this another 100 Lemmings level? What's with all the 100 Lemmings levels for levels that don't really need it? Okay. I need to do it like right around uh, here. But yeah. Upon, like, uh, all I know is that upon uh, him getting to this part, and by the way, this is, this is developers going all out with having fun with the terrain. They're having, they're using the erase tools in the right areas, they're, like, they made a, they made a hall and stuff like that. Gate trap, more like gate, uh, more like, uh, the gates of, uh, lemmings or something like that. Oop. Wrong skill. Okay, good. They should... These guys, uh, fortunately, should be safe. We don't really need to worry about these guys, but we need to, uh, bash, uh, them early enough so that way when they land, they'll land on top of the digger and they'll be safe. So that would mean half the lemmings are already saved. Now the game is speeding up because we have less, uh, less than, like, 60 lemmings and such. So, uh, let's bash right around there. Now, uh, we're given six builders and we're going to need to use them in the right areas. This means we're going to need to build, like, at least starting from here. So, uh... So, we're going to need to build right around here, and the and building right around here should allow us to make enough of a platform to have these uh, guys land safely on them, because, uh... Either they fall into the pit, or they fall in the splat and break all their bones. These guys have bones, after all, and you do not want them to break it. Which means these umbrellas are probably one of the best uh, inventions for them ever. Yeah, I think we're going to reach a good point of, uh, of uh, built bashing right underneath this, uh, this blocker right here. So, yeah. Okay, good. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, now we need to bash underneath. That I don't know how he kept bashing underneath the uh the uh the, the one thing, but yeah. So uh we're gonna need to build it right here because apparently this is tall enough, but fortunately we have enough builders to spare, so that's another level solved. Oy. I mean, this is a really good level. I, I can definitely see why this is a favorite and why this is in, uh, in Lemmings Redux. So, uh, yeah. Everyone get into their exit. 
And, uh, yeah. So, what's next? Yeah, we're not doing that one. We've already done it in the Super Nintendo version. I'm not doing it again. So, back in a moment. Anyways, a little moment of silence before we say goodbye to this screen. We're never going to see this screen again after this, uh, let's play. At very, uh, yeah, we're never going to see this screen again. This is the last time we're going to see it. For you ask, yes, there are actual co uh, cheat codes to play the two-player levels. But, yeah. This is the last code we're putting in. H. C. N. F. D. Here we go. The final level of this Let's Play. Fall No Life, Part 2. Remember when I said you might want to remember this level for later? Now, remember when I said you might want to pay attention to this level for later? Yeah. This is the final level. And it's gonna get real. So, yeah. One thing you want to do is make sure that you, uh... That you, uh... That bash right there. This guy right here, he's gonna build right there. So he can get over those, uh, little one pixel gaps. As for this guy... He's going to need to build right around there. <clears throat> this guy, well... Um, let me think. I'm trying to remember how to solve this level. Oh yeah, I think I know. Because we're going to need to save one of our builders for... No, we're going to need to save one of our builders for right here. So, here's what we're going to do. So, we're going to assign them a floater, and to turn them around, we need to build right around here, and immediately mine. This will allow him to turn around, and he will bash. Fortunately, there's something we can do. Now, you may think this little thing's going to be a problem, but because it's not going in under here, we're going to mine and bash right under it. So, we're going to bash. And as soon as we know we're under it, we're gonna oh, mine. We're, as soon as we know we're gonna we're under it and such, we're gonna bash. This will allow us to go underneath the one-way arrows, and uh, and we should have enough builders for uh, for the fray. Now, when we build, we want to make sure we build at a specific area of this uh, of this level. I apologize for the bit of silence, but I was trying to figure out the level and see how do I solve this thing. Did I send someone too early or something? But no, I know how. This one's going to be the make it or break it moment, but you need to build around right there. Because if you build around right there, that should create enough of a height. That should be, in, that should be high enough for the lemmings to turn around. So, with this last bash, here comes the moment of truth. And believe me, we're going to need to make sure everyone uh, gets uh, to safety. Let's hope we can make this one minute walk. So, they'll land on here, and they do turn around. Let's hope they can turn- let's hope, let's hope they can do this in one minute. We need to make sure they can do this in one minute and such. But, yeah. Maybe I should have mined a little bit further ahead so I can spend less time, but if they can make this 30 minute, uh, if they can make this 30 minute walk, they should be able to, uh, they should be able to, uh, make it across. So, yeah. Okay, moment of truth. Yeah, 
20 seconds left. Okay. Man, we're cutting it close, but I think we did it. This Let's Play is done. Oh my gosh. Now that is it for Lemmings. We've done it. Oh man. Boy, I hope you enjoyed the trek as much as I did because dang, that was an enjoyable Let's Play and such. But what what's an ending to a Let's Play without credits? And I remember uploading a video about this level where I forgot that I forgot that Boulder was there. Developers just uh, probably making some levels to I did not have the right skill selected. Yeah, you saw that uh, trap right there? No, it's not censored in Super Nintendo Lemmings. That blood is still there, and they somehow did not catch it. Build all the way up here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna need to build and build and build. And, oops. He's going to need to... <clears throat> Ignore my inputs! So yeah, we have a third just a minute in this game, and boy is it a hard one. So yeah, we're gonna need to use this <sighs> stuff like that. Ah uh, shoot, I think I did a little bit too high. Maybe I could, maybe I could just do a few pixels too high and stuff like that. Because I know for I know for a fact that these lemmings are not going to go to the exit. Ugh. So enjoy this remix of uh, March of the Mods, because this is basically uh, basically our little victory lap, our. Uh, the, our congratulatory screen for beating this game. Now, Lemmings does have a very big impact for me. It was one of my childhood games back in, uh, back in the day. I used to play this on one of my family's oldest computers. And, uh, I eventually, and eventually led me to right here. It led me to making very, uh, much better levels than I did years ago and stuff like that. And, uh, and there's this big charm about uh, making these, uh, about solving uh, levels with these creatures and stuff like that, and being in awe with uh, all the stuff you see through these, through this uh, game right here. Just seeing the sights of the sprite work and stuff like that, and seeing these levels t test your, uh, test your patience. There's AT, I guess that's the guy who made the level. But, yeah. The one thing I just had to say is thank you DMA Design for making this game. Thank you Sunsoft for making certain ports of these games. Thank you Lemmings Form for keeping the interest of Lemmings alive for so many years. And I want to you know, thank my friends and family for supporting me all the way. I am so happy to have this Let's Play done and ready for uh, for the 30th anniversary of Lemmings. Happy anniversary, Lemmings. You're 30. Ah, oh, man. Does time fly by? So, if you want to donate, there are a couple links in the description below. If you want to follow any future series that will come up, you hit subscribe and hit that bell. But, yeah. I know there are the two-player levels and such, but I won't be able to cover them at this time because I don't want to deal with net play, and I definitely don't want to deal with trying to get uh, Parsec to work with my controllers. I tried it before, but it did not work. It just wanted to reject my uh, it just wanted to reject reject my drivers and such. But hopefully someday I'll be able to come back to this and play two-player with uh, one of my friends. But, yeah. This is it. So, where do we need- where do we meet next time for Lemmings, though? 
it's probably going to be either the Master System port of the game, or oh no, more Lemmings on Amiga. After that, it's probably going to be Lemmings 2. But, yeah. That, that was a fun Let's Play, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, trip through uh, memory lane, and I hope you enjoyed this little happy anniversary to one of my favorite games of all time. So, yeah. I did put the outtake reel before the credits rolled, but, uh, but that's about it. The show is over, and the next time we'll meet, we'll be heading back to familiar territory. We'll be... We'll be heading back to a certain island with a certain marsupial who can who can destroy boxes and gather and gather shiny shiny uh, brilliant cut jewelry. Until then, I shall bid you guys adieu. Thank you so much for watching.